Donald Trump pushing hard on one of his most controversial ideas, his embrace of Vladimir Putin. Trump tells radio host Michael Savage Hillary Clinton shouldn't be talking so tough about Russia and says if he's elected, he'd do something never seen before. I think I could see myself meeting with Putin and meeting with Russia prior to the start of the administration. It's a slap in the face to Obama, to Hillary, um, and of course, frankly, to many Republicans. I mean, it's, it's long been a part of the Republican platform to be so skeptical of Russia. In a statement today, Hillary Clinton's campaign said she would stand up to the Russian president and, quote, not coddle him. The Obama administration directly blames Russia for the hacking of the Democratic Party, and Trump's been blasted for encouraging it. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I mean, the notion that someone running for the U.S. presidency is encouraging a foreign power to spy on American citizens, you know, I mean, if someone else did this, you know what Trump would call that? Treason. Today, President Obama said Trump's affinity for Putin is inexplicable. The degree to which he appears to model many of his policies uh, and approaches to politics on Mr. Putin uh, is unprecedented in American politics and is out of step with not just what Democrats think, but out of step with what up until the last few months almost every Republican thought. Trump believes he can work with Putin to defeat ISIS and slams Clinton and President Obama for failing to work with the Russian leader. They insult him constantly. I mean, no wonder he can't stand Obama and Hillary Clinton. Putin himself has taken to flattering Trump, which analysts say is the pure calculation of a former KGB agent. I can imagine, at least in the early stages, uh, Putin sort of getting Trump to believe everything that he says uh, by flattery, by, uh, by taking Trump seriously, by complimenting him on his leadership ability, um, and then being a bad faith negotiator, which he always is. Masha Gessen points out that Putin even tried to manipulate Barack Obama, who did have foreign policy experience before winning the White House. And President Obama today practically admitted as much, saying he tried to work with Putin on Ukraine and on Syria, only to see Vladimir Putin turn around and act aggressively in both places. Wolf? Brian, uh, we've got a response from Putin to Trump's idea of meeting him before the inauguration, right? We did. Wolf, CNN got an immediate response from the Kremlin to Trump's idea. Putin's spokesman saying, quote, President Putin has said that he was open for dialogue with any candidate who is ready to talk and cooperate. Kind of a boilerplate response there, but there are many out there who think that Vladimir Putin is just waiting for his chance to play Donald Trump.